Item number SCP-7000 Containment class Esoteric Secondary class Thaumio Disruption class Dark Risk class Notice Special containment procedures When it is not held in a secure storage locker with N-Site-1 SCP-7000 is kept on the person of O-5-1 if SCP-7000 becomes lost, retrieval is to be conducted by Mobile Task Force Alpha-1, Red Right Hand. If SCP-7000 is discovered by another member of the O5 Council, they are to bring it back to Site-1 at their earliest convenience. If a majority of the O5 Council agrees to resolve a vote by a coin flip, usage of SCP-7000 is explicitly forbidden, and Site 1 Custodian Hellenistic AIC is to conduct a federal coin flip. Description SCP 7000 is a ceremonial coin created by the Foundation Administrator Beep and given to O51 as a gift. SCP 7000's surface resembles 24 karat gold and has a mass and shape similar to a typical US quarter. One side of SCP-7000 is engraved with the logo of the SCP Foundation, while the other is engraved with the symbol used to represent Thamuel class objects. SCP-7000's anomalous property only manifests when it is used by a current member of the O5 Council. If SCP-7000 is flipped into the ear by O5 personnel in order to determine a result, the probabilities of landing on a given side will deviate radically from those of typical coin flip. Testing has determined that the ratio between landing thermal up and skip up is x to y, where x equals the current number of SCP-001 proposals accessible from the SCP-001 database slot, and where Y equals the current number of distinct SCP objects currently registered in the SkipNet database. Because of this property, SCP-7000 has functioned as a near-perfectly weight coin ever since it was first given to O51 after the formation of the Foundation in 19 Beep. It is not understood how the administrator gave SCP-7000 its anomalous property, nor is it understood how it was able to precisely function in the decades prior to the establishment of the SkipNet database. However, O51 has confirmed that the administrator's creation of SCP-7000 was inspired by the particular event in the early history of the Foundation. See Addendum 1 for more details. Addendum 1 Historical Background During one of the earliest meetings of the original members of the O5 Council, a vote on an undisclosed matter ended in a 6-6 to stalemate. Due to its relevance to the subject matter of the vote, the administrator was present at the meeting. However, because of the personal relationship, O51 recused herself from the vote, and the O5 Council agreed it would be inappropriate for the administrator to assume his usual role as the tiebreaker for this specific vote. Despite intense discussion, the O5 Council could not resolve the stalemate, and O57 suggested deciding the vote with a coin flip. O57 later clarified that they were making a joke in an attempt to diffuse tensions between council members, and they did not intend for this suggestion to be taken seriously. Exasperated with the council, O51 quickly agreed with O57's suggestion and produced a coin, a US Nico Sega 19 Beep, to flip. Fatigued from long and unproductive debate, the council acquiesced to O51. Because O57 had voted yay, O51 asked O511 the most vocal nay vote to call the coin flip result. O511 agreed and called out tails as O51 flipped the coin. The coin landed in the approximate center of the council room's table. However, this particular coin flip ended with a coin balance on its edge. All personnel present were completely silent for a period of approximately 7 seconds. At the end of this period, a sudden movement by 055 
It has been agreed by all parties present that this was not a deliberate attempt by 055 to influence the result, as it was known that 055 had a chronic respiratory condition that led to him coughing infrequently during council meetings. Caused a slight vibration in the table and the coin fell onto the tail side, with the head side facing up. This caused an uproar, followed by various debate amongst various council members. O51 attempted to table the discussion until a later date, but was distracted by the administrator laughing at a high volume. 0511 disputed the validity of the coin flip result and demanded that the coin be flipped a second time. In order to put an end to this farce, 058 changed his vote to yay and the motion passed 5 to 7. In the years following the conclusion of this particular council meeting, testing and research were undertaken in order to determine a plausible update satisfactory explanation for the result of the coin flip. No evidence was found to indicate that the coin 051 or the meeting room table were at all anomalous. Many different theories were developed to explain the result, but most were disregarded due to bias or an inability to prove or disprove them. It was suggested by 0510 that 052 had used thaumaturgy to influence the result, but 052 permanently denied this. 051 observed that if 2 had magic subtle enough to influence the result of a coin flip, why would he make the coin land on the edge instead of just heads up? Following development of modern Hume theory, 0511 speculated that someone present at the meeting had used BRD bending to influence the result. However, there is no evidence suggesting that any of the personnel present at the meeting were type green humanoids. The most plausible explanation put forward by 0513 was that an extra normal event had occurred during the meeting. Due to the nature of extra normal events, it is not possible to definitely prove or disprove this theory. In Tony Beep, a pair of level 4 personnel, both statisticians from the Beckett Archives and Information Security Administration, RASA, were granted special access to SCP-7000's documentation by a 12 to 1 vote of the O5 Council in order to discover the most plausible explanation for the result of the coin flip. Seven months later, the pair submitted a research paper to the office of 051. According to the analysis of all available data regarding the event, it is quite likely that no outside manipulation, anomalous or non-anomalous, influenced the result. The most likely explanation is that the coin naturally landed on its side, a rare but not impossible outcome.